I posted some shorts. I think I posted three shorts today. Um, they're just like we uploads for my TikTok account because if I kind of do love that. As long as it's not going to get me copyrighted, if it's on TikTok and I like it enough, um, I'll put it on YouTube. As long as it's not like copyright type stuff, hopefully, fingers crossed. Unless I really like it, then I'll probably put it on. <laughs> but like today's YouTube shorts, TikTok video things, I posted them to my YouTube channel because they flopped on my TikTok account. Like, I mean flop, like two, four likes, a lot of views, but not many likes. So I'm like, you know what? Let me save this video, post it to YouTube. At least like if it flops here and it flops there, it still got tension. Um, but it's supposed to Shana, Shana Tova. I decided to just vlog. I don't know what I'm going to do to vlog. I have two things to send out for my reselling business. One I already packaged this morning, which was just a Lego instruction book. And then my next thing is uh, American Girl doll that I sewed. And yeah, I love reselling, by the way. Like, I like the idea of having all these things while I work from home because I cannot work in a corporate place for some reason like a nine to five job a part-time job i can't do it i can i hate the idea of being under someone working under someone for some reason i don't know why let me put you guys up here because you guys are killing my arm um but yeah i i don't know i can't explain it i hate it so i love the idea that i have i could build up like my video stuff online and youtube tiktok i know that they, they don't really do much Right now, it's basically my reselling, my Macaulay, which I do with my mom to help out my mom. Um, but I do want to, like, be able to, like, make it, like, an actual thing where I can help my mom out. I can use it to, like, do stuff. I have plans coming up from next month to January, and I'm, like, really hoping it works out. But, yeah, I decided to just vlog today. This is so random because it's, like, 3 p.m. now when I started vlogging. And I'm like, you know what? I feel like I have something to do. Let me vlog. Let's vlog. Let's do something. Uh, I have to go to Tempo because it's Rosh Hashanah, which is it. It's basically our new year, basically. Don't ask me to explain it. I suck. I went from when I was like 12, 13, or mostly 13, to when I was about 20-something. I hated being my religion because it was never talked about. People like, it's always like Christians or Christianity. Um, and then people just go past those religions and for a big part of my life I was ashamed of it but now I'm back in it I guess like how someone would be a born again question except I'm not really born again I never stopped wanting to be the religion I grew up as it was more as I was ashamed to tell people I was Jewish and now I'm like you know what fuck them that's my religion I'm now proud to be Jewish because for a while by the way when I was a teenager I thought it was agnostic but I'm like wait I because I was like, I can't be atheist. I still believe in a god. But then I started to be like, I don't really relate to the agnostic view that much. If it makes sense. <laughs> so instead, I'm like, you know what? I am Jewish. I love being Jewish. But anyways, yeah, that's what I'm going to... I got to get dressed. And probably if I have time, I'll probably prep my second thing to ship out. I don't know if I can ship it out today. One of them I know I can probably ship out if my mom lets me. Or if my mom's able to. But I try to see if I can ship both of them out. I'm not sure yet. Uh, so I was just watching um, PewDiePie's, Felix's latest video. And oh my god, why is he and Marcia and the little baby so cute? Just, oh my god, they are freaking adorable, okay? <laughs> I watched this man for basically my whole life. And now he's just a dad. And he's doing like videos as a dad. I was just like, oh. Also, shout out to my boy. Hey, outfit of the day. I'm wearing this. Mercury says hi. I'm wearing my, of course, my Jewish star necklace that I never take off. I got it in the Holocaust Museum when I went to DC last last summer. This past summer. Um, this pink, like this pinkish shirt. I don't remember where I got this from. I think it was Dee Dee's Discounts. It was in my closet for a while, and I wore. It, I think I watched it the first time last Friday. And I'm wearing it again. And then I have some pair of black leggings, some white socks, and I'm wearing my Nike sneakers. Yeah. I'm just going to watch Game Girls while I wait for mom to come home.
hey, so this vlog is still going strong. Um, this time I don't know why I haven't ended the vlog, by the way. I've just been adding and adding and basically this time, usually it's I don't vlog much. And I don't like want to like have like a short vlog. I want to have like a vlog that actually has stuff in it that has like things to work out as a video. This time it's more just I am too lazy to edit at the end of the day. So instead of editing, I'm like, you know what? I'll just add more footage to the vlog. But to be fair, I did start this vlog on Friday and then I had a very bad weekend when it comes to my mental health. So I had like jumps random footage i filmed but it wasn't like full day because i wasn't feeling really up to like doing stuff online i decided to just like have this little snippet because i have no idea what this video is becoming but it's still out there it's still becoming a thing i just gotta stop being lazy um another one thing is i probably could do you ever just lay in bed watching like tv or watching videos or watching something and you're just laying there and you're just like i am going to nap today because that's me right now i am literally laying like i'm like comfortable in bed i made myself super duper comfortable i have guillermo goes on my dog just left <laughs> and i'm like you know what i'm so comfortable i am definitely gonna take a nap and another little update i got a job interview for spirit halloween and it's the location near closest to my house that I absolutely love to be at. Which is like, it's awesome. But also, Spirit Halloween means if like, if they hire me, that's going to be like one hell of a job. Because I'm just going to be surrounded by everything that I love. Um, I mean, hey, fingers crossed, maybe they'll hire me and I'll get like an employee discount. I don't know. I'm making plans. I haven't even done the interview yet. Um, don't mind my doors open, so my dogs are just chilling. But <laughs> I am home from school. Um, I did a little bit of vlogging on the train. I was gonna vlog in school, but then it got really awkward because I have social anxiety. Um, but yeah, I'm. Just, I was. Gonna, I will, right now I'm gonna scroll. Right now I'm gonna learn how to talk. I'm gonna go on to cry to cry a little bit, and then I'm gonna look for maybe a movie to watch. I don't know if I have like the capacity to process a movie at the moment but i'm considering dear john because i don't i actually do not fun fact of me i do not remember i ever watched dear john i think i watched bits and pieces of it because of who's in the movie like the actors in the movie um but i don't think i watched it like fully or maybe for my goal um the best of me I, that one i've seen i we watched it i'm not sure i'm not sure i have netflix on with movies on but I need to find one if I want to watch or not. Just an update. I started packaging. Okay, so I had to just package up these three items. These three items, just these items. So I get them prepared so we can take them to the, to the post office. I finished these three items. Someone bought this one, which is a doll that I had to package. And then when I finished that one, someone bought this one. This one I can actually show you guys because it's not yet packaged yet. This little Seattle plush. <laughs> I'm whacking it up. I'm like really appreciative that they did it when I was doing it like this. Like I appreciate, I do like appreciate that that 
every sale kept coming in as I was packaging. It wasn't like I put everything away. I stopped and then I had to come back out and put everything and take everything back out. But I'm also very happy because stuff that sold is stuff I've had in my inventory for like a very long time. So at least I get to push them out. And I've had a couple things. I also have sold today or yesterday. No, it was today. I sold a couple things today that I was so scared. I didn't want to post it. One thing I didn't want to post because I was like, no one's going to buy this. Because it was something I had. I never used it. And then it was a blender that I bought for my mom. But we never used it. And then my mom's new roommate brought his blender over. Well, he shipped. He bought it and shipped it to our house because he's not here yet. Which is nicer than the one I had. And my mom was like, just throw it in the trash. So I'm like, no. Let me try to make money off of it. I was hesitant. I was like, no one's going to buy this. It's a cheap little blender I got for like, for like I think like 10 bucks or something. It was like a cheap little travel portable blender I got at Target. Um, because I broke my mom's old blender and I just wanted to get her something and I'm a broke ass bitch. So I just grabbed the cheapest thing I could find at Target that could replace it. It wasn't even the exact same blender. I am a fucking moron. <laughs> my mom's blender that I broke was this blender it was similar to this one i got a cheap little plastic one a portable one that you could make smoothies in so you could take the smoothies on the go like if you go to work or something or the gym my mom doesn't drink smoothies what was i thinking but it sold which is amazing and i had something else that sold today well two things that sold today one i was like you know what let me just throw a, a kind of cheap offer on it if no one's claiming it and then someone claimed it which was like hell yeah yes we got this and then another thing was something that was never selling everyone was like interacting with it and loving it and no one was buying it someone bought it today so yay this one was another one everyone interacted with it no one bought it someone just bought it so i also like when i get when they're like um souvenir stuff from things in california it's always bought by someone in california like this was monterey monterey bay from the monterey bay aquarium it was bought from someone in la <laughs> I sold stuff from Legoland. They were bought from people in LA. Um, I've sold people. I've sold like SF Giant stuff. They were bought from people in my area, which makes sense because it's the SF Giants, San Francisco Giants. It's just so funny because one time I sold something that was shipped to the same city I lived in, or like technically like not even half an hour from where I live. It was so close. Like my mom knew the si like my mom knew the street. I told my mom the address. She knew where this person lived. We could have drove it. We we took it to the post office anyway because they pay shipping and plus that's how I get all money. But it's like, holy shit. <laughs> I, I would um film me packaging it. But I also do not want to get my tripod from upstairs. <laughs> I also have an interview tomorrow. So I need to group myself. I am aware that I am hideous here. Don't look. Don't look. I'm going to group myself. But... I'll probably go to go myself after I do this package as long as no one else buys anything else because we are living I'm making it this month if you guys want to check out my resale shop by the way I, I do have the link in the description and I do believe I have a full link in the description as well if you want to join Macaulay um but my shop is really cool I sell a lot of vintage a lot of toys a lot of stuffed animals I clean out my house like currently I want to clean out my stuff personally my own personal stuff because in the future, I do want to venture out and move to, like, another... There's a bug. <laughs> I want to move to, a, like, another um, state across the country. Like, across the actual country. And I can't have a lot of stuff for that. So if I slowly start getting rid of stuff now, it makes it easier for whenever I want to do that. Which is, like, in the far future, but... As you can see, I was just at Spirit Halloween. I, I'm going to Five Below and then I'll go back to Spirit Halloween. Um, I hate being at Spirit Halloween when I'm broke, by the way. Like, I hate it. It's the absolute fucking worst. Because they have so many things I want. I did find like a couple costumes I wanted. I, um, they had a Harry Potter waving car outfit that I really want. I just can't afford to get it, but. 
Okay, I couldn't film in Five Below because it was very loud in there with like copyrighted music. But we'll go back into Spirit, which I do not remember if it's loud. <laughs> but I went through Spirit and I didn't show you guys, so let's add that because it is spooky season. Okay, so I'm in Spirit. <laughs> guys, oh my god. If I had the money, I would comp this. I love this. I would still comp that if I had the money. I would also claim this. I love this. I like that it has the voice box. I love this. I want it. Okay. So the two Harry Potter things I want are these two up here. I have this one, the regular robe. I want the deluxe robe because I don't think I, I don't think I have the deluxe robe. But look how cute this is. Oh my god. I want it so bad. Okay, let's spin this, and whatever it lands on is what I am. Let's do that again. I knew it. Okay, now I'm walking to probably Target. Um, yeah. You know, do you ever just like technically window shop and you kind of wish you just want to buy stuff? <laughs> I found like lots of things, lots of possible Halloween costumes I want for me and my dogs and cat. <laughs> but I can't get it and it sucks. <laughs> they always have the best stuff when you have no money in the stores too. Like when you have money, they have nothing. <laughs> When you're broke, they have everything. Also, I am trying to get as much footage as I possibly can. <laughs> There's a dog in the window. I'm trying to get it as much as I can filmed because I was supposed to stop vlogging yesterday and then I didn't vlog after I said I was gonna vlog for the last time that day. So I'm doing that today. Target and I supplied a Starbucks because you can't go through Starbucks without Starbucks. Also, me with YouTube and also I want this but I don't have use for it. <gasps> Look at this plaid. <laughs> so much green. <laughs> so much green. But yeah, I'm just driving the car through the store because why not? Get angry you guys are.
hope you guys didn't see that, but I almost went into the car to a stranger. I was doing. <laughs> I needed a tripod so you guys were on the shelf. My little ghoul. <laughs> One of these is not like the others. Hey, I am sitting in Hawaiian barbecue. Not to eat, I just sat because I want to sit down to wait for my mom to get me. But at Target, I got two items, two Halloween costumes for my cat because <laughs> they were on sale. They were also adorable. First thing I got was this cat wizard costume. I'm in the back, by the way. If you guys can't tell, I'm moving in the back so I could take out my camera. I got this cat wizard costume, which is super freaking cute. It's gonna make him look so cute. And like the black on the orange kitty, I feel like it's gonna be such a vibe. Um, and then I also got this pet loyalty cape um, in a size small, medium, because it's technically a dog costume. And I was like, I was looking at the bigger one because I was like, it looks so cute on my, on Mercury. I'm like, wait, my cat's name is Prince Harry. He goes by Prince. This is perfect. Just me and the friends hanging out. I got it at Costco, so now I'm just walking on Costco. And the one time I can't shop here, they have a, they actually have Legos. They don't usually have Legos, and now they do when I don't have any money. And also my mom has a shit card, so. <laughs> Hey, I'm going to end the video here. And I mean, I'm going to end the video here. Um, I haven't edited the video yet, and it's after midnight, but. I have tomorrow too to edit it as well, but yeah, I've d I think I did a week. I don't even remember when I saw this, but I'm pretty sure we just filmed a week in the life, basically. So that's probably where I go title it because why not? Um, I'm about to watch Insurgent and eat some pizza. You guys can't see it's dark. Uh, just curl up and prepare for bed. I was. I am writing my script for class, and I was just writing it and technically rewriting it a little bit and adding some scenes because um, I got some feedback from my teacher that helped a lot. I love this class, and I love this teacher, and she's so good with her notes on how to do stuff. Um, so I'm, re I'm rewriting it slash adding in scenes. So basically, she was it was a little too fast is what my teacher basically noted. Like, my script went way too fast like i jumped into the drama like i did really good with the drama which is like good because the scene that started the drama of the movie was supposed to be the scene that starts the drama um it was just way too fast so i have to add like a few scenes which is easy i changed up some characters a little bit and i added a couple scenes i'm adding a couple scenes and then i'm going to jump into the drama part but it's gonna be changed a little bit and so i'm just gonna end this video here and hopefully it'll be up by Sunday. Because I doubt I'm going to edit now. Because I'm going to eat. I'm going to watch movie. And I still have to get up early for tempo in the morning. So, hope. So, like, I got to, like, get up now. And, yeah. So, that's what's up. And I'll see you guys in whenever the next clip is. Bye. I love you all so very much.